Oh. Okay. We're going to do our taste testing. As usual, no drinking and driving. You know, of course not. That doesn't uh, work at all. Uh, we don't support that. We don't think you should do it. And we're going, wait a minute. I had three of these. How can we taste test two? That's not fair. I must have left it in the car. I'll be right back, Lou. Where could it have disappeared from? Yeah. I can't get away with anything anymore. He's so smart, that guy. No, I can't. You had three up there. I was wondering why you went in the house. I don't know. I didn't have anything to drink yet. <laughs> oh, boy. You know, in keeping with our tradition of taste testing, you know, we're uh, taste testing brandy today. Two brandies and one cognac. Oh, cognac. You know, things are really bad in the uh, economy. I can't even afford large bottles. We had to go with the pints. That's it. We'll drink slowly. You know, just because, you know, I, I don't have a job in so long, and, you know, I can't afford the big bottles anymore. So brandy and cognac is really the same thing. But brandy comes from any part of the world, and cognac can only be France. made by France. France. You know, so it's really the same stuff. So Hennessy, always oh, yeah. some good stuff. You know, E&J, and this is the VSOP, so that means it's aged the longest out of these. It's not like it can buy the real expensive stuff. And the very special from E&J. So two E&Js. Two E&Js, but one's, I guess, aged more than the others. So, you know, first we'll try the Hennessy. Hennessy's the cognac, right? Yeah. Feral Jaka, Feral Jaka. Okay. To Normandy. Pinzano. Ooh, still got the same taste. Kept me warm many of the winters. You know, while driving the bus. Mm. Yeah, when we we're on strike, yeah. I'm going to mm. be drinking this walk in the picket line. Not bad. I oh. wouldn't rule it out. I like it. You know, I like it. This is, uh, this is aged a little bit more than the others. So we're going down the line. Good. Better, good, and underneath it. Yeah. Well, these are good, you know, this way if I'm driving around and, you know, I, I, you know, with hitting bottom, you know, being in poverty these days and no job, you know, this will be nice. I'll fit in my pocket while I'm sleeping on That's top it. of the yeah, uh, park bench or something. The park bench or uh, I was thinking about the subway grates in the city, but you could thank President Obama for the Smart. bad economy. Keep warm on the subway grates. Different taste. Completely. It doesn't burn like the other one burns. Nah. Not bad. <laughs> not really what I would normally drink. You know, but yeah. not bad. So out of the two of them now, I guess the E and J is definitely smoother than the other one. I like the Hennessy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Mm. This is embarrassing that the economy is so bad that I got to buy these little... <laughs> there used to be pints. I don't even know if there are pints anymore. How many ounces is this? I think it's probably on the front. Oh, right here. Was... I can't read. I don't know. It four looks... fifths? Is it four fifths? There's a number on the bottom of the bottle. 200 milliliters. You know, the other ones have it. Oh, yeah, 200 milliliters, so I don't know what that is. And this is the uh, you know, Brandy E&J Brandy Brandy VSOP. Wow. Yeah. I know the VSOP is better than the VS, but, you know. It's, it's to the Wounded old. Warriors. Wounded Warriors.
It's not my cup of tea. No, none of them are my cup of tea either, but, you know, you know where this would probably be good in the winter time. You come yeah. in from shoveling your snow since yeah, I can't afford running. to hire anybody to shovel my snow, you know, for our job for so long. And, and come in, you put this in a little cup of tea, you know, to twirl your socks a little bit, warm up your toes. Mm. I like the Hennessy the best. I go right down yeah. the line. The Hennessy number one, this number two, and this number three. Yeah. I don't see too much of a difference between the E and J products. You know, definitely a big difference between the cognac, though. I yeah. would I would probably, you know, put the Hennessy last just because it burns so much going oh, down. I enjoy it. I thought it was smooth. Yeah. You know. See, if we had jobs and money in the bank and everything, we could have got Louis the Fourteenth. We would have got the good stuff. Yeah, that would have been then great. We would have put it in nice seat. glasses. We could have warmed up the cognac yeah. with a cigarette lighter to get it to room temperature and everything. But living in poverty sucks. Thank you, President Obama, for yeah. poverty. Yeah. Mm. Again, remember, no drinking and driving. We're only doing a little taste test. That's it. You know, while there's other things... I still think like uh, the base, best taste test we did, the gins were pretty good. Yeah. You know. Tangeray, I remember Tangeray. Yeah. You know, and the um, uh, Jack Daniels, you know, the yeah. bourbons were pretty good. Yeah. You know, but, you know, this has its place. I wouldn't use any of it in mixed drinks or anything. Nah. You know, but, um, you know, well, hopefully things will get better and the next taste test I can buy a full size, uh, you know, uh, what you call a leader or whatever it is. Yeah. You know, so, well, good luck to everybody. See you soon. We'll see you soon.